Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41, and it is time, time, for the final boss of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. It is Baoletta. You've done well to make it here. I should have expected as much from the superstars of the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, probably, because Mario and Luigi are pretty awesome. We have very short futures. After conquering the Bean Bean Kingdom, I intend to make the Mushroom Kingdom mine as well. So this is serious business. This isn't Bowser anymore. Like, I'm gonna kidnap Princess Peach, and that's it. Like, this is... Bowletta, take over the world business. Oh god. Oh boy. Here we go. Battle time. Let's do it. Alright, so this is the final boss of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. This is the battle against Bowletta, who's gonna spit out balls at us. Glowing balls. What better way to attack than with glowing balls? Alright, anyway. All we have to do is hit Bowletta with our hardest, fastest, strongest bros attacks. Starting out with some chopper bros. And then we're going to continue with some Cyclone Bros. Why Cyclone Bros? Because I think all these individual little bubble ball things can actually attack us, so... I recommend taking them all out with Cyclone Bros. Hit that one up there. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. Move. Move in the right direction when I tell you. Okay. Jump! Ah, oh, crap. Have to break those blocks so we can jump over the fire. Or just, like, jump on top of the fire, too. That also works. Alright, Advanced Chopper Bros. Let's see what this does. Nice. Nice. Four hits. I like that. I like that. Okay, here we go. Let's go with some knockback, bros. Going with the damaging attacks. No more need to be flashy. I'm just going for pure damage. Nice. Three hits. Not bad. Alright, so when Bowletta's health gets pretty low, she'll turn into this dark version of herself and then totally rip off Kulix's attack from Sumar RPG and go with Dark Star ripoff. But we can just deflect the stars back at her for some damage. I don't know why bosses think it's a good idea to have attacks that you can deflect it back at them for damage, but I don't get it. <laughs> See? Terrible, terrible idea. Why? You just died by your own attack. Like, that is a terrible, terrible thing. And. Wait, whoa, whoa. What, what just happened? What? Uh. Fools, you let your guards down. But, but I, I just beat you. Wait a minute. Wait. No. No. No, this can't be happening. No! In my belly! Get in my belly! What? But this is this isn't how it's supposed to go. This is this is not how you're supposed to play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. What the hell? So we're just dead now, is that it? No, we're up. Are you still conscious? Oh, you're a persistent pet. What is this purple thing? I know what it is. That laugh. It's Cacoletta's spirit. And indeed, Cacoletta's spirit is the final boss of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, the true final boss this time around. Now, because Mario's speed is really high, we get to, I think, act second, actually, because the head actually went first. But all it did was buff Cacoletta's arm, so that's fine. But yeah, this is it. This is the final battle. This is Cacoletta's spirit, and Cacoletta's spirit is attacking us with fire. Because that's what all final bosses do in games, they attack with fire. If you notice, like, lava in final boss castles, like, there's always fire-based attacks. I don't really get it. But anyway, this is Cacoletta's spirit. This is it. This is the final battle. Uh, all of Cacoletta's individual parts, I guess you can say, her uh, two hands and her head act separately, and her heart, actually, but not yet, because we haven't opened up the heart yet. The heart is the only way to actually deal damage to Cacoletta, but in order to do that, we need to take out the other three parts first. The head, of course, is the toughest to take out. The arms really aren't that bad at all, but the head can be a problem. Alright, so that should have done it, Yeah, even though I missed the last bounce bros. Okay. So once Cacoletta's heart is exposed, the three parts will regenerate, but her heart is still a target, so you can still attack the heart, and yeah, let's just hammer this energy ball that didn't have much of a chance, hammer Cacoletta's arms, so yeah, Cacoletta will get like three actions per turn, because every part acts differently. Three or four, I forget, maybe even four, but... Oh well, that's what final bosses do, kind of like the Shadow Queen from Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, although not as, not as ridiculous as that. Oh, crap. <laughs> that sucked. Also, Cacoletta's attacks hurt, if you couldn't figure it out. Well, let's attack the heart with some Splash Bros. Nice, a solid 147. I'm pretty sure Cacoletta's spirit has, like, about 1,000 HP. Her heart does, anyway. Nice, 129. 23. 23 again. 11. 11. That was awesome. Well, only one at the end, but hey, every point counts. Oh, stupid thing. Stupid electric ball. So now Cacoletta's heart will heal up her uh, body there. And did you know what I just noticed? 
Did her did her hand just flip me off when she <laughs> when she targeted me with this attack? What the hell? Like like come on, this is an E-rated game. And I didn't think I was that bad. I mean she must really hate us. This isn't Bowser anymore. This is Capuletta and Bowletta, like this is not messing around here. I missed the last one. Alright. So let's go with uh an item. We need to heal up Mario. Mario. No no no! No! No damn it! Why he Luigi? You're so selfish. What the hell? Right, hammer that thing. Hammer it back. And him. What? What the hell was that? That did 50 damage. I mean, I know it had an attack up, but that went from doing six damage to 50 damage. What the hell is that shit? And what the hell is Fawful doing back here? Stupid Fawful. Go away. Okay, that was a little ridiculous. I survived though. <laughs> I think I, I kind of overreacted because I got a little nervous that that it was going to be all for naught. But hey, we're back. We're revitalized. Ready to go. Alright, just hammer tech let his arm. She's really just destroying herself with these attacks. Yeah, she totally flipped me off there. What the hell? That's not cool. Not cool. I jump over the fire. Jump over the fire. So I actually had to use a one-up super. That's kind of... That's like the first time a Mario Bros. died since like the Queen Bean fight, which I bring up yet again and I don't want to. Anyway, let's focus on this fight right now, because we got to hammer this energy ball. Mario does not have the power grip, even though he has a cobalt knife attack, which is pretty awesome. So, let's take out that stupid arm that did that stupid attack. Yeah, die. You deserve it. Alright, bounce bros on that guy. Or that, not really, guy. Still can't do the advanced version, but it's still enough to take out the arm. I think the arms have 70 HP each. I don't know, I'm just going off memory. I don't, I don't I didn't actually look it up. Alright, nice. Alright, let's see. What are we going to do? Jump on the head? I kind of want to time it so that Kekletta's heart is exposed, like, it, like after Luigi's action. So I think Mario will get to go next, but I don't really know how it'll work out. We'll give it a shot. Oh no, let me try to do it between uh, the two bros. So that after Mario's turn, Luigi will get, will get to attack before the heart can. I think. Maybe that's how it'll work. I don't know. No. <laughs> Apparently not. So forget everything I just said. Oh, this attack. I hate this attack. Jump! Oh, stupid thing. Okay. You can actually look at Capuletta's eyes here. Damn. And that actually tells what uh, if the arms are up in the air or down. So, that's useful. So, you don't even really need to pay attention to the spinning arms. Just look at Capuletta's eyes. Look into my eyes. It's like Ghost Rider. Okay. Jump. Good stuff. Good stuff. Fawful. Go away. Seriously. Like... Come back in the sequel, you're done in this game. And then come back in the game after that, too. But not in this game. Alright. Attack the heart, nice damage there. Nice, okay, okay. This is intense, this is getting intense. Yes, yes, yes! Again! Nice, that was a good chain. I'm, I'm happy with that. It wasn't like a 13 hit combo like I did against, was it Lemmy? One of the Koopalings, I forget which one. Yeah, stop doing that. You know what? F you too. F you. Yeah, kill your ass. Your bitch ass. Alright, does she even have an ass right now? That's a conversation that I don't want to get into. Okay. Oh, buff. Another buff. Okay. So let us, uh, splash bros the heart. I'm just completely ignoring the hands when the heart's exposed. Like, why even bother? Okay. Uh, not back yet. I was thinking Cyclone, but no, not bad. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. Again. Yes, five hits. Awesome. Okay, more flipping me off. This game is for children. This game is for children. They must have gotten to, like, the first, you know, they must have gotten to Toad Town and been like, oh, this game is great. E-rated. And then be like, no, the final boss flips you off. <laughs> kind of missed that, ESRB. Okay, anyway. Alright, not getting hit by this again. Even though I think it'll only do 6 and not like 50. But, oh, damn it, it did do 6. But, what the hell? Oh, this attack, I was totally not ready. Oh, laser beams. Okay, so you gotta watch Cacolette's eyes and then she'll freeze time and shoot laser beams. Eye lasers. Typical, another typical final boss attack. This final boss is so cliche. And yet at the same time, it's pretty awesome. Okay, get rid of the hand. Okay, you're just killing yourself right now with your attacks. Oh, this, speaking of attacks that kill yourself, 
You can actually hit all these orbs that attack uh, the brothers back to do some damage. Look at that, 20 damage a pop, too. Nice. You can't really control where they fly, but hey, free damage is free damage. Yeah, look, killing yourself. I don't get why they do that, but wow. I just totally epic failed that Splash Bros. Let's go with some, uh, some Thunder Bros. Let's try out Thunder Bros. Let's see how it goes. I don't know how elements will work against Calculated Spirit. I usually don't use elementals, but... Oh, hello. Critical. <laughs> Critical against the head. That's good to know. Thunder Bros. Very nice. Ah, more orbs. Orbs. Maybe someone hit the heart. Hit the hand. Emma! Oh, damn it. I mean, they don't do that much damage to you, so it's really not that big a deal, but that's, again, free damage that you're just missing out on. Okay, up, down, jump, up. Okay, now jump. And jump again. Jump again. No. Damn it, damn it, stop! No, no! <laughs> Those started coming really fast. I was not prepared for that. Alright, fire. Come on, Mario. You can survive. I don't want to revive you again. Revive your ass again. Don't let me do that. Come on, here we go. Even though Mario seems to have better stats, like, Luigi didn't die during the final boss. What the hell? Jump! Oh, did I get that right? Okay. <laughs> I thought I mixed that up for a second. Okay, jump! Alright, that should be good. Yeah, avoid the eye lasers. Okay, Mario's gonna jump. Nice. You gotta time it right, too. The timing can be tough to get down. Alright. Let's go with some more Splash Bros. On the heart. Yes! Aha! That's it. That's it. Kekleta Spirit is defeated. And thus ends Mario and Luigi's Superstar Saga. The reign of Bowletta has come to an end. Explosions! <laughs> I love how all the bosses explode. It can't be impossible. No, how could I? And thanks to this filthy little pair, how could I lose? Oh, that sucks. So Kekleta Spirit has indeed been defeated. And Bowser will resume his previous form. Full control over his body, although he's a little unconscious at the moment. But anyway, I guess that's it. Yeah, here's Prince Beasley. Hey! Good job! Cheers to the Superstar siblings! Wait, whoa, whoa. Explosive device? Oh, okay. So you're gonna give me a ride on your, uh, your little pillow thing, right? No? What do you mean, no? Okay, let's get out of here. All right, well, <laughs> we have three minutes to escape the castle. If you don't escape the castle in three minutes, uh, then you will actually die and have to redo everything that I just did. But luckily the game gives you like plenty of time to get out. I should get out in like a minute, maybe. Even though I don't like how there's a barrel puzzle when we're trying to escape. You have to walk up the stairs like, oh, so slowly with a barrel. Okay, but luckily we can just, all you have to do is hit that button, jump off the barrel, break it down the stairs and out the door we're pretty much there yeah not really much to do here let's go around here and we get out back here back at the beginning where black blanadon lies we gotta get out of this place now <laughs> get to the chopper okay bowser it's bowser oh where am i what have i been doing oh boy <laughs> i almost feel bad for bowser he didn't really do anything if anything it was helping us and he just wakes up, only to find this castle exploding and falling into the Oho Ocean. Hey! Get off of my screen! He cracks the screen and falls down. I love that effect, though. That is an awesome effect in this game. Well done! And yes, well done, Mario and Luigi, for saving both the Mushroom Kingdom and the Bean Bean Kingdom all in one fell swoop. Just Peach, you have a fine group of friends. I'm quite envious. Toadsworth, Lady Lima. Old love is kind of disgusting. Hey, oh, <laughs> don't. I must thank you all. Accept this gift for me to mark our party. <laughs> Prince Peasley, you didn't do much of anything, but hey, I'll take the big giant mysterious box. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. What's in the mysterious box? This looks like a damn good gift. It better be a cake. Oh, it's Bowser with a cold. <laughs> Why is Bowser in a box? How did they get Bowser in a box? I have no idea, but this credits music is pretty awesome. Pretty underrated, in my opinion. A good little look back at our adventure as we fly over the Bean Bean Castle, our Bean Bean Kingdom landscape, 
and end the adventure that was Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. A damn good RPG, one of my favorites. I'm very glad that I let's play this game. I had a blast doing it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And hey, Blab Lanadon, you only came in handy once in the whole game, but I guess it did save us from like getting blown up by a castle, so that's good. But yeah, this is a fantastically made game. Uh, I, see, I think it often kind of goes under the radar compared to the other Mario RPG games. It seems like Partners in Time and Bowser's Inside Story kind of eclipse this one, but this is what really started it all, and this is a fantastic game. I don't know, I guess because they were released for the more popular DS system, and this kind of was in the middle of, uh, you know, the GameCube Game Boy Advance era, but hey, Hermie's here. Hello, Hermie. I love all the characters appear in the credits. It's so nice. I mean, it's not a parade like in Paper Mario and Mario RPG, but hey, it gets the job done. So, yeah, this this is also an awesome credit scene as we fly across Oho Ocean in the sunset with Bowser in tow, which is really funny. Hey, Jeep Jeeps. How nice. This game is so cute and sweet. And, but yeah, this game... The thing that really sets this game above others, I think, is not only how well made it is, oh hey, Bowser's Minions, but all the little references and quirks and little fun things about it. <laughs> I'll just drop Bowser off with his minions, that's fine. But yeah, all those little references and quirks and cool little touches that, you know, really make this game fantastic. Hey, boo, get out of here. That's what really makes this game fantastic. Otherwise, it would be good, but it wouldn't stand out the way it does now. This game truly stands out with all its references. I mean, it even referenced Geno from Super Mario RPG. What other game did that? So, cool stuff. I give two thumbs way up to this game. It is one of my favorites and an awesome game. <laughs> See, I love that. That's the price of putting Geno in, but this game went the extra mile to even include that extra reference there. Wow, that's pretty awesome. And we finally arrived back at Princess Peach's castle with some star-shaped fireworks, of course. Of course there's fireworks whenever you finish a level. And that's it. The end. Wait, it was all a movie. None of this actually happened. Okay, no, it doesn't really pull that card, but it does play that, you know, cool little thing. <laughs> it's not like Super Mario Bros. 2, this was all a dream. But anyway, this Let's Play is over. So this is Shadow Mario 41. See you guys next time for more Let's Plays.